Hey guys, good morning. My name is Purti, also known as Khona. Khona is my Chinese name. Typically, my day would start with this bundle of joy. Say hello to my nephew. He is 7 months old. I would play with him for a while. After that, I go prepare my green tea. Then I head to my room for reviewing the topics I studied the previous night. As a med student, I use Maro app for my preparation. I'm a Pro C user, so I have the access for videos, QBanks, and test series. And they have MCQ modules after each topic, which is great for reviewing. And right now, I'm solving questions. For obvious reasons, I don't have an extra phone or a tab to record myself studying using Maro. So I'm done with the test and 69 percentile. It's not bad for the first attempt. My goal is to complete all the 830 modules in one year. So after that, I started doing my summer social project given to us by my university. It's summer vacation for us right now. I think next semester will start from September. So. Speaking of my backstory, I chose to do MBBS in China because of three main reasons. One, the climate of city I chose was similar to that of Bangalore. Two, it has the same teaching structure as of India, so I thought it will be easy for me when I come back to India to give my license exam. Three, the population of China is similar to that of India, so does the variety of local diseases. Hence, I thought it would be helpful for my clinical practice. Sadly, I'm stuck in India because the Chinese government wouldn't allow any students to enter its country unless they're listed by the embassy or their universities. After that, I just work out for 30 to 40 minutes. I'm not consistent these days though. Later, around 5 p.m., I take my pet Lucky for a walk. Later, I freshen up and make myself a healthy or unhealthy snack depending on my mood. While I was cooking, my cousin called up and invited me for dinner. She literally stays three road apart from my home. I made a quick stop to buy myself corn before heading to her home. My cousin made an amazing kingfish fry for dinner. I came back home and found my nephew listening to Charlie's song and apparently that's his favorite song. Later, I started working on my project again. Anyways, speaking of my current situation, I'm having a mental crisis. There are millions of students like me who enrolled in various Chinese universities who are waiting from past two and a half years to go back to China to resume offline classes. I lost my campus life where I'm supposed to make loads of memories with my friends and classmates. Instead, I'm sitting at home being humiliated by people. I have been hearing demotivating comments for two years. I lost my focus in life. I became the laziest person I knew. More than me, my parents are worried about my future, especially my mom. I hate to see her in this situation. I have been asked by literally everyone from two years about my return to China. Seriously, I don't know myself. If I do know, I'll be jumping in excitement and posting about it in every social media platform. So yeah. That's how my typical day is and it's time for me to sleep. Thank you all for watching till the end. Bye-bye.
再见。